Welcome, welcome fellow golfers. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm gonna run you through the round here at the front nine of the foothills and let's see how things go. Oh. I've been working at keeping oh this uh, sort of big swooping hook out of my game lately. It kind of reappears. I know exactly what it is. I've been trying to get a hold of it and it's getting better, but it was a definitely seriously challenging mental moment right off of the start of the round. And I think that uh, a big recovery was definitely needed after something like that. Thank you. This has definitely been a big part of uh, upgrading my game, yeah, having Good things save. go wrong and being able to recover and not just recover, but bring things back, you know, to full scale, you know, full potential of what your game is capable of. Uh, it's been fantastic to be able to uh, to get that going in my game where I sort of felt that uh, before there was this uh, sort of no in between, it was either bad or good and there was nothing that was gonna bring it back. Here is really happy with this tee shot, caught it exactly how I wanted and uh, feeling really mentally strong after uh, the little shake up on the Three. one. Okay, about a hundred yards, a little sand wedge, 56 degree, gonna go slightly left with this pin. Easy breezy, allow the who. Thank you. Sticking to my mental game routine and my 4-8 breath has really, really made a world of a difference in my game. Uh, keeping my neurology cool and collected has been such a key to being able to shake Set. off uh, funky Set. shots and being able to just keep going. Um, it's really, really been the decider of whether or not I'm going to be able to keep playing good golf or whether I'm going to kind of start taking a tumble after one bad shot. Oh! Jeez! Cut too much. So I was coming off a few very, very confident holes and all of a sudden, you know, a birthday hole pops up. You know, they're inevitable. They're gonna happen even when we're feeling very mentally strong. You know, sometimes we end up okay. in situations here. I'm playing a course that I've never really played very much. I think this is the second time that I'm going through it, learning a lot about where to be and where not to be. Uh, but, you know, I think at the end of the day, you know, we wanna be better golfers. We gotta make, fr make friends with uh, double bogeys and triple bogeys and really pay attention to what they're trying to tell us. And if we can keep playing good golf after bad holes, then, we're on track to becoming a good golfer. You? <laughs> like it. <clears throat> yeah, so so far I haven't gone driver off any of these holes. Just had a little birthday hole, no big deal. Uh, Kind of got stuck behind a tree needed to hit like kind of a fade seven iron out uh, and it did i actually got it out low faded it just over faded and ended up uh on the right side of the green this is some trouble uh actually executed a pretty decent seven iron out of there it just was ended up being too much the rough did not grab it as much as i thought it did uh hit a pretty good bunker shot and got the got out of there with a double but uh you know still very very happy with how i executed everything even though it resulted in a double so um that's kind of uh, the takeaway off of that hole, and it's kind of making me still feel really good about my shop making abilities. So let's keep on keeping on. We're uh, doing well on this par five. Just put a two iron uh, to right here, and uh, we're gonna lay this up, keep it safe, and uh, kind of get us a wedge in. Let's do it. Uh, you wanna go right? Can you put a little seven iron? 
lay up over here on the right side of the fairway. Keep it money. Easy peasy, easy life. Load the who. Take on that smile. Let's do this, baby. Oh, that's right. Okay. So I've done a pretty right. good job of managing my breath from hole to hole, shot to shot. In the beginning, it's a new habit to kind of establish to make sure that you're doing it every single shot and every single moment in between the shots. It takes a little while to kind of develop that skill, to develop that habit, uh, but in the long run, it's um, fantastic for the nervous system just to make sure that uh, you know your fight or flight is not an issue while you play. We will see. So I ended up making a club choice error here. Ended up taking two clubs too much. The uh, downwind ended up being way more than I thought. Ended up, you know, kind of clearing the green by about 25 yards. Um, this pitch didn't go very well, but you know, was able to do my best to stay in there and uh, finish strong and keep everything as uh, low damage as possible. Gosh. All right, so. Finish strong, still milling till he's tough, still in it. Let's get it done. So it was quick to see, you know, this round was not okay. going to be about going low, it was going to be about, you know, staying mentally tough. So, um, super surprised. You're 172 to the pin. And we went eight iron, a little downwind, but we put that eight iron to about 200 yards. That's insane. So these things happen. What are you gonna do? Move on, got our double, keep it going. So as a reminder, guys, you know, for most golfers, back-to-back -back holes that don't go well can be very demoralizing, right? It can really start sending us down a very, very slippery slope. But just keep in mind, the next time that happens in your round, just to take that deep breath, get, use your 4-8 breath to come back. More than likely, fight or flight's on, but we can come back to our best golf. You can do it. So, prime example of two holes gone wrong. Here we are, almost throwing this birdie in, but I seriously wouldn't be able to do it if I wasn't using my 4-8 breath, you know, breathing in for four seconds and then letting the air out of the tire for eight seconds. Tracking. Super, no super key to go on and keep playing your best golf. Yeah, so. Go, 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 go. So when am I using 4A breath? I'm using 4A breath all round long. In between shots especially. As I'm driving or walking to the next shot, I'm breathing in for four, I'm exhaling for eight seconds. Absolutely key for keeping fight or flight off to play at your potential. So the reason I'm really big on the 4-8 breath is because it controls your fight or flight, right? If you're a fight or flight or if your brain detects, Thank you, you're going to fight or flight. More often than not, your breath gets very shallow or you just downright start to hold it. But if we're kind of showing our brain that breathing is still going on, then it keeps that fight or flight you know, threat kind of subdued and to the side and uh, really allows us to play our best golf. I think it's you know the number one approach that I can tell anyone that's struggling on the course with you know, hitting bad shots and then not being able to recover 
you know, for more often than not, a golfer gets locked into fight or flight and then just kind of loses it from there. Uh, fight or flight goes on like a light switch, but it turns off like a dimmer. So your breathing is absolutely crucial for telling your brain that you're feeling chill, that you're safe, that there's no threat. It doesn't know the difference between a lion being in front of you and going OB or putting a ball in the water, right? So once fight or flight goes off, that's when our golf just really starts to go down that slope. So your breathing ends up just being completely instrumental to playing your best golf. Um, and this round was no exception. It was 100% a test of being able to come back to the breath again and again. But thank you all for so much for tuning in. I would go on to the back nine to shoot a 39. A uh, real testament to the mental toughness. You can catch those holes on my Instagram where I give breakdowns on each and every single hole of the back nine. Uh, you know, but thank you. I really appreciate you tuning into this round. It's really a testament to, you know, forging your game up against some tough situations and putting yourself into some tight spots. But we will catch you on the next one. Take care.